All right, welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's talk about Ghana versus Niger. The game has ended and Niger beat Ghana by two goals to nil. Well, where I am, um, you know that usually I'll bring you voice over, but um, I need to sit and talk about this. That was abysmal performance from the Ghana Black Galaxies, and I can't just keep mute. We need to talk about it. What kind of performance is this from Ghana Black Galaxies? A team that most of us we really trusted that we can do well and just being outplayed, outclassed by this Nigerian side. My goodness, guys, we can't just keep mute over this. This is a basement performance from the team, and we need to really fire them. I don't expect the technical team to be in place. I'm not expecting these players to be called next time again because this performance is a shameful one, symbolic one, telling the state of Ghana football now. What is happening? Ghana versus Nigeria has ended two goals to us. We know already. And uh, let's talk about it. You just like the video. Like the video after that. You subscribe if you are new. You put on the bell for more updates. You have to forgive me for the poor camera or the poor video quality and other stuff because as I've told you already, I've traveled a little, but I need to do this. So today was the quarterfinal stage, Ghana versus Niger in a turn 2023, which is being played in Nigeria. And the team that will qualify will go or was going to meet Algeria. So Niger have qualified and they are going to meet Algeria from next week going. So Ghana, we are out of the tournament. Now we qualify after struggling to beat Sudan by three goals to one and Many thoughts, all things was right. I told you guys that with this game, my probable 11, I was going to take out the number 9, which is Kofi Koji. And surprisingly, the coach, Anowaka, and the technical team decided to keep him. I saw nothing from him. He's the first person I'll talk about because in a game that Ghana, we were not potent enough. The backline defense too was very porous. Throughout the tournament, the defense has been porous. Mayfield wasn't working and I don't know what is actually happening. This Black Galaxies team that we saw them playing very good, um, you know, ball or very good game in the qualifiers and we went to the tournament and everything was abysmal. We didn't see any good performance from the team. What is happening? Ghana football and Aket Okreku, he must sit up. Things were not right. I don't know. The players were not playing with that kind of enthusiasm, that kind of zeal that you are playing to qualify for semi-finals. Is it because of the money issues that we heard that the, 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 the FA promised some players or promised the players an amount of money and later on the Ministry of Future and Sports decided to give them a certain amount of money so the players decided not to play their hearts out? Is it like that? But I think, even if it is that, that is not the only issue because you can see the quality was really, really down. Look at the right back, Augustine Japan. I can't believe him enough. He's inexperienced. Augustine Reynolds in the first game showed poor performance so he was taken out um 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 our guest in japan came in he didn't give us that kind of performance he wanted left back um, um dennis chroma Kosa, poor performance for him Danlat, i think the second goal he, he he might have done something about it the first goal was just an own goal he can't do anything from um, um you know the player that many people think his performance has been has has not been the best of which i also think the same Kunedu Yadom pairing with Solomon Adomakon has been very, very bad in this tournament. Before the tournament, we saw very good performances from them. But pairing with Adomakon, Kunedu Adomakon wasn't working. And it was really, really bad in the game today against, um, you know, Nigerian side. And the Nigerian side has made sure that they booted Ghana out. They outplayed us, they outclassed us. Everything wasn't working. In Mayfield for us, in Sobila was just quiet on the day. They actually pocketed, um, you know, David Bagna Sander, the best player in this tournament for the Ghana side to me. He wasn't, you know, showing class today. Later on, um, you know, the captain of work was introduced. Everything shows that he's not fit enough. Age is also catching up. And everything wasn't really working. If you go to the forward lines, you know, let me talk about the Rangers first. Jonah Otukwe, we didn't see anything from him. Sylvester Simon on the right side was very flat. Holding on to the ball too much, no, um, you know, final product. Everything wasn't really good. You look at the um, the, the, the forward, and I think Kofi Koji, you just ask yourself that: Is this the best striker we have in the Ghana Premier League? Is this the only striker we can rely on? While you have the likes of Wacho on the bench, who also came in, in second, and brought some kind of firepower, but nothing really happened. We have Razak Yusuf. I don't know whether he's injured. According to my checks, 
he's really fit. He played the first game alongside with a free Banier. Banier was suspended in this game because of that he didn't play. But I didn't see Razak Yusuf. O2 also came in to play a part. I think the whole team, nothing was really working. From the tactical side, you could see that nothing was really working. Tactically, we were very, very bankrupt. Ghana was down by two goals to know. You can't see any kind of sense of agency from the players. The, 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 the technical bent too, they were really down. I don't know. Is this the best team? Is this the, 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 the best team we can submit or to represent the country, Ghana? I think this is really bad. This is really bad. And we are just coming home. Tomorrow they should pack their things and come home. Keto Kraku, you must do something. Under your, 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 your tent, or your tenor, things are not really, really going on well. We've seen very poor performances from the junior teams, totally under 17 and under 20. They have been really, really poor. Even the Black Stars of Ghana, we went to the World Cup, we didn't do anything better. We are back home. The Black Lasses that many of us believed in the team, we also gone to, um, you know, Algeria to disgrace ourselves. We went there, out of the three games we played, we lost the first game, Three goals to nil against Madagascar. Uh, um, two goals to one rather against Madagascar. We won three goals to one against Sudan, and today we have lost two goals to nil. What is happening in Ghana football? What is actually happening? We don't know. We need explanations. We need decisions to be made. Ghana Premier League is this the best materials if we can use them to represent us? Well, that is how everything pan out. So, guys. I'm just here to rant because our performance has been very, very bad in this tournament and we deserve to come home. Niger deserves 100% to qualify per the performance they put up today. They deserve every bit of chance to qualify to the next stage. And that has been it. I don't know what you think about it in the comment section. Let me know. Did you see the Ghana team that you expected? I think for selection-wise, one, it wasn't really great. I wanted to see a new number nine in there instead of Kofi Koji. Then aside that, I think the rest of the players was okay for me, but where is their motivation? Intrinsically, were, we, were they motivated? And extrinsically, they, were they also motivated? I didn't see anything from the team today. And we really deserve to come home. So, Champ 2022, he's been playing in 2023 in Nigeria, it's over for Ghana. And we are just going to pack our teams from Iran and fly to Ghana, I'm expecting them Early morning tomorrow, I'm expecting it to be in Ghana because what are they doing in Nigeria? We have nothing to offer. And this is really bad. This is really, really, really bad. Ket Okraku, if things went on right, you go or you come and stand there and run and add it to your 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 CV or achievements that the team went to Nigeria, they did this, they did that, they were second, they were first, they were third. Now we've lost. We disgrace ourselves. Come out and speak to Ghanaians. That is what I have to say. So, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kani TV, and of course, we shall meet later.